what is up guys it's Mike it's Memo here and welcome to episode 22 of my gothic 3 playthrough in this particular episode we're gonna go to Bakaresh and uh, complete the quest stats so without further ado guys let's begin Sorry about the uh, leg spikes here and there, but uh, I've got no clue how to fix it. Doesn't matter how high I put my settings, how low I put my settings, it keeps le lagging. So, you know, there's little I can do about it and keep it on the main setting. But I have heard that uh, p even people with 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is quite a lot more than me I got four you know but uh, even those have massive legs um, according to forums Google etc you know um, so it could be a error within the game files I'm not sure but uh, it surely lags a lot whether I put it on high or low it doesn't really matter and uh, you know it's recording so it has to look decent you know not over the top, oh my god, beautiful, but at least a bit decent. Hey you, what are you doing sneaking around? Looting the plans, my friend. I am Sinicar, and actually, this is supposed to be a hideout. Well, it's not hidden well enough. Obviously not. You can rest here for a while, but don't try anything stupid, and leave me alone. Okay, I'll leave you alone. See, that's what you want. I thought let's help him out, but fuck him then, man. You. The city of Bakaresh. Halt! This is Bakaresh, temple city of the Hashishin. What do you want here, stranger? Are you one of the raiders? I belong to no one. Then stick with it and don't get involved with the raiders. Tell me something about the city. Strangers are not often found here. Seek out Ashnu. He will help you further. How are things? It doesn't look good. Nomads are roaming around outside the city. Those damn raiders have attacked the oasis. Go to the city and report it to Silvio. Okay. Still need the four percent with the orcs.
trying to put stone on Bakaresh. I am Silvio, and this is Bakaresh. Leave your weapon sheathed as long as you are in the city. And keep your hands to yourself. Then we'll get along just fine. I see. Then stick with it. What can you tell me about the city? This is a beautiful, serene temple city. And that's the way it should stay. If you want to go into the temple, talk to Amul. And if you want to gab for a while, go see Ashnu. He likes to talk a lot. Otherwise, I'll show you how you can deal with raiders. Would you teach me how to fight? Nothing I need. Benito sent me. What does he have to report? The oasis outside the city was raided by nomads. Damn, that's bad news. Tisgar isn't going to like that at all. We'd better be careful in the south. Here, this is for you. And carry on. Do you have work for me? You want to make yourself useful? Akrabor is guarding the north entrance to the city. He hasn't reported to me for a long time. Go and see what's wrong. Will do. I am Aldo. With me, you can always get what you need. And if Beliar had not stricken my slaves with extraordinary stupidity, I could also offer you some artifacts. Teach me something about alchemy. Do you need help? You mean regarding my imbecile slaves? You could slap them all silly, but what's the use? I have seen to that already. Actually, I meant those artifacts you're looking for. Ah, yes, of course. I am looking for three special artifacts in particular, you know. I have read some old inscriptions. They are small caskets. They belong to a priest of the Ancient Ones. He was certainly a well-respected man. And once I own those caskets, I too will be well-respected. I'll have a look around. If you bring them to me, your reputation in Bakaresh will go up as well. Yes, all right. I think I've got it. Show me your goods.
Still needs one more casket. <laughs> Here it is. So that is done. Here are your caskets. Ah, soon I will be the most reputable merchant in Bakaresh. Yeah, this is for you. That's it. Not even city reputation. Oi. Let's see if I can make some potions. I don't have the ingredients for that. I don't have the ingredients for that. I really need more vials. Show me your goods. Just making doubly sure that I've got all these vials. Welcome to Bakaresh. I am Jafar, weapons merchant. Feel free to have a look at my blades. I have only top quality merchandise from Benzala. Show me your goods. Well, it's okay. It's not really that great to be honest, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. However, I will sell quite a bit. Well, at least. Everything that I do not need. Thanks. That's it, no quest? Okay. Welcome to Bakaresh, Pilgrim. I am Ashnu. In case you need information, mine is worth gold. What can you tell me about the temple? The temple is the sanctuary of Beliar. We donate gold to the Black Mages so that they may appease his almighty wrath. If you want to pray, you will have to make do with this statue down here. The temple is closed to all strangers, and Amul alone decides who gets to enter the temple, Pilgrim. 
What can I do so that Amul will let me enter the temple? You could work for Silvio, of course. Or you could fight in the arena, provided you are a strong and law-abiding son of combat. What else? Any other options? Well, we merchants of the city must pay our tribute to the Black Mages. If you bring Amul our gold, he will know that we trust you. Tell me about the Black Mages. The mages take care of everything. They pray to Beliar for us. But they also see to the tribute, and they protect us. We are at their command, and Zubin, old and wise, is their leader. But you will not find him here. He watches over us all from his palace in Ishtar. Let me bring Amul your tribute. Of course I shall support your wish, son of generosity. Right then. What should I do? You need to convince Jafar, Carlos, and Aldo. Once you have their approval, come back to me, and I will give you the tribute. By Beliar, I will prevent this. I want to take your tribute to Amul. Do you now? But can we even trust you? Maybe you are working for the Nomads, ingratiating yourself here in Bakaresh so you can steal our gold. What do you demand, then? I think we should not trust you with our gold. Unless you have pulled off some good deals outside of Akaresh. What have you got to show for yourself? I conducted business with Nafalem. Yes, that is good. You have got experience. I saw that right away. You can go to Amul. You have got my approval. Okay, well that was quick. I want to take your tribute to Amul. You want to deliver our gold? This will increase your reputation with the Black Mages. Exactly. That's the point. Ah, uh, I like it. But certainly you know that you're not the only one who wants that. So, what do you suggest? You do your business with Amul, and you owe me a favor. Just a moment. What kind of favor? Once you have access to the temple, you will recommend me to the Black Mage, Sigmor. You want me to recommend you? Exactly. Let him know what a competent fellow I am. I'll see what I can do. I put my trust in you, son of obligingness. Welcome, pilgrim. I am Carlos, slave trader. How's business? So far, pretty good. I can't complain. Although, I could use some help anyway. What can I do for you? I still have a couple of slaves I can't get rid of. Listen, Aldo is crazy for ancient artifacts. He already bought some slaves from me that he has digging. And? The problem is that danger lurks in the ruins. Danger that gobbles up slaves. As long as the ruins are unsafe, Aldo won't buy any more slaves. I see. I want to take your tribute to Amul. So, he let you into the temple? Exactly. Yes. There is something you can do for me first. I'll take a look around those ruins. Go ahead and do that. If Aldo buys my slaves, you'll get the cut. Alright, so let's take care of these ruins, which are not quite far from here. Come on, lion. You can do it, brother. Let me heal you up, eh? As always, I will pick up all the plants I come, I come across. As always, I do that mere for resources purposes. And if I no longer need them, let's say I have health regeneration, then I don't need more HP potions. Well, limited, anyways. You know, I will make potions and sell them. Same with the endurance potions, I never use them because you know. They're quite pointless. 
especially if you play the game normally, if you run a you know world record attempt speed run, then you will need quite a bit of endurance potions to make it all go fast, etc. But uh, you know, this is just a casual playthrough, not a world record attempt. <coughs> So I basically have zero need for endurance potions, you know, by the time I need stamina, my stamina has already been regenerated by just walking a bit, you know. But if you can't use it, always use it for gold purposes. Job lion. Because uh, the armors, etc., are quite expensive. Especially the rebel one. If you're gonna do the rebel, you will need a whole lot of gold. The paladin's armor alone is 170,000 pieces of gold. That is without the light rebel armor, medium rebel armor, heavy rebel armor, and the fire mage robe. You know. So it's quite expensive. And then you have the gold requirement needed for training, you know, skills, swords, um, and all that. So that's ex even more expensive. So you need a whole lot of gold. That is why you always must know uh, beforehand what side you're gonna join, which side you're gonna prefer to, and which side you could say, you know, I'll skip that. But also, you should always do as many quests at all sides as possible before actually taking a side like I did with Muratana, you know. I first went to the Rebels, completed the quests there, then went to Cape Dunn, you know, completed the quests there, Montera, Okara, Gotha, Faring, Trellis, um, Sildan, Geldon, and then I went to Namora, Vanguard, you know, I make sure before I go to each area and liberate the areas that uh, I get all the gold along the way as required and still I only have 12k, you know, but that is also because of the fact I paid 50,000 gold pieces to one of the leaders for a, a divine artifact. I um, thought it was the Ring of Adenos, no, the Amulet of Adenos, which you can get in Trellis in return for 50,000. But um, that's because, you know, I join the Orcs, but no matter what side I will join, you know, <coughs> I will first complete all the quests required before I start liberating the areas, because uh, it's important. So let's talk with... where is he? Wasn't Carlos the one with the uh... The ruins is safe. Or was it Ashen? 
Wait, what? Oh, it's the ruins. Oh, not the uh, mine crawler problem, but the surrounding ruins here. What a failure. Oh well. Still it was a quest, nevertheless, so, you know, that area is at least completed. I'm up here, buddy. I'm not quite sure what the lion is doing, but uh... Come on, buddy. PC is full HP again. Critters then. Hmm? I already think I killed them all. But yet I couldn't complete the quest, so there must be a couple of critters somewhere around here. supply as well. Even if they did, there are no critters around here. I'm a bit confused at the moment. Shall tremble. So pay with your gold. And you hey, pay hey, you. Blood. Yes, you. No I mean you. What do you no want? You look like a man who wants to make lots of gold and fast. But those among you who do good business must. What are the rules? I'll have you know that no slaves are fighting here in Bakarish. These are the greatest gladiators of the desert. Hashishins who have earned themselves a place in the arena through their deeds and their skills. And the rules? Each fight costs 1,000 gold coins. Besides that, the usual rules apply. Who is there to fight? Ah, I present you a marvelous selection of the desert's best fighters. First comes Irhabar the Bloody. He's one tough bastard, and he likes to finish off his big uh, opponents. 
Next, I will send you Ahmed of all trades. There isn't a maneuver he doesn't know. Not a move he has mustered. And the grand finale will be our champion, the undefeated king of Bakarash, Mufasa the Savage. In the course of his career, he has fought in over a hundred matches and hasn't lost many. Good business must pay their tribute. For what use is your gold? In the face of Beliar's inexorable Fine. Then I'll knock down Once the bloody Israel guy first. Excellent. The mysterious fighter from the north. Hey, none of this fancy talk. Just let me fight. Uh, all right, then. At least try to look good. We use our power to keep his wrath from you. Well, since I can't figure it out with the arena yet, well, the runes, I will kick their asses in the arena. Here about the bloody. Show me what you can do. <clears throat> Nothing more to be had there. Show me your goods. Water and wine, good. Man, the bloody is a bloody mess. You have earned this gold. Fine. Now let me fight that Ahmed, the one of all blades. Trades. Is Ahmed of all trades? Ah, forget it. You paid so you can fight. But those among you who do good business must pay their tribute. For what use is your gold in the face of Belyar's inexorable wrath? All right, so let's go against Ahmed, the guy of all trades. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Show me what you can do. Oh, sorry, war lion. Killed him too soon now, didn't I? What have you done to Ahmed? The man's completely worn out. Isn't that why I fought him? Well, yes, you've got a point there. Fine. Now bring on this savage fellow and then I'll be champion, right? Whoa, 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 there, whoa, I never said that. What? Are you toying with me? No, no, of course not. Father of swift combat. But you still need to go up against the temple fighters. Special order from Tizga. Only if you can hold your own against the temple fighters will you be named champion of Bakarish. Why didn't you tell me this before? Hey, you didn't ask. But it will bring you glory and honor. And hopefully some gold, too. Send in Mufasa, then. Ah, a great sound for a great fight. Hey, please slow down a little this time. Get it? The audience expects to see something for their money. Yeah, well, it's not my fault they're weak. Damn black mage with all this chattering. Your own man called.
calls you a loser. Now that must be a uh, heavy downfall. Sorry, we'll pass out, but nothing personal. I am Ahmed, Ahmed of all trades. You know a thing or two about weapons? I am master of various fighting styles. If you have some gold, I can teach you. Teach me, please. Of course. We can start whenever you're ready. There is no pity for Would you teach me how to fight? Pain and death. But those among you who do good business must pay You their can't tribute. teach me shit, man. What a waste of 500 gold. Right here in the arena of Bakarish, the impossible became reality. Mufasa the Savage has been defeated. Here stands the victor. And he has come to get his gold. But of course, man, Bushir of Mufasa. I told you I would make you rich. We use our power right. To keep his now what about the temple fighters? Those aren't just any old fighters. Oh no. One of them was the gatekeeper of Ishtar. And the other used to hunt nomads all over the desert. Both have earned this job in Makarish. And struck down more opponents than all barbarians combined. Never mind. You know what I want. Bring on the temple fighters. So be it. Let the fight for the crown begin. Eternal fame for the winner, a mouthful of sand for the loser. Good luck, fighter. I'm curious to see how long you last. You should be worried on how long they last, even though it's two versus one. For what use is your gold in the face of Belyar's inexorable wrath? Come, my lion friend. Maybe I can make use of you. Right, so here it begins. Two versus one and a pet. Maybe it works long, I doubt it, but You're as good as defeated. You're as good as defeated. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, that was a uh, quick defeat. I <coughs> well, I always have issues with these uh, buggers, you know, because of the fact that two versus one, they all attack at the same time, both of them, and most of the time they do their ultimate moves, you know, as I like to call it, which knocks me back and knocks me down relatively quickly. You're as good as You're defeated. You're as good as defeated. <laughs> That's the move that exactly meant, you know, that, uh, that, that. Could also use my, uh, my spin attack, but I'm not that well known with all that combos, you know. It takes one charge time and two, it is a combination of, uh, left, right, left mouse click, for a certain amount of time press it in you know and then quickly right click but I, I never use them sometimes randomly you know but never on purpose I must admit that never on purpose but they surely are kicking my ass you're as good as defeated <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's uh, defeat number four. I'm gonna use a bit of a di different tactic right here. Since there are two of them, I'm gonna make use of a bit of, uh, how shall we say, uh, the bow. I have to be careful though, I don't want to kill them. But I was thinking about trying to lure one of them, you know, but as soon as one as noticed you both of them will attack so this is gonna be very challenging normally I wouldn't use the bow in arena but uh, the fifth time currently you know I'm still getting my ass whooped 
You're as good as defeated. Stop right there, you dog. Nah! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna learn them part. Stop right there, you Almost. But my lion is uh, rather typically useless. I knocked one of them down though, so that's a progress. But I always have issues with these two guys. Except for the Hashishin, because with the Hashishin I actually use the ultimate combo move, but that's because it's a lot easier, a lot easier to time, you know, than with a two-handed weapon. But whatever it takes. You're as good as defeated. There's <sighs> going to be a fight, men. Stop no! right there, you <sighs> dog. Stop right there, you dog. That damage is too sick. There's no way for me to separate them. <laughs> At least long enough. So I'm just gonna use... I don't want to heal, you know, even though I already used the healing potion once. Or food, I'm not quite sure what I consumed. I think it was a healing potion and some food. But I don't want to use healing, you know, but... Uh, I can't really win versus them if they attack me at the same time. You know, if they're standing in the same direction, it's easy. But if they're gonna block you in, then you're pretty much screwed. You know, so... I have to think about something to get past them. You're as good as defeated. Stop right there, you dog. You left the arena. You have been defeated. Oh. I accidentally left the arena. I could have gone back to the uh, arena master guy, you know. But uh, I don't want to waste too much gold just to get this right. So I just keep reloading. If you want to skip these, you know, make sure to check the description and it will instantly say victory or defeat. You know, if it says defeat, skip to the next. If it says victory, click to that one and you will instantly get the victory one. But uh, I certainly have issues with it at the moment. You're as good as defeated. No. You're going to be fighting. No. No. And a fucking poison. I'm really, really, really clueless at the moment on how I should get this done quickly and efficiently because if I use the bow I use the um, I have a critical moment where I could kill them and if I kill them I'm still fucked you know so you're as good as defeated 
Stop right there, you dog. That line is more in the way than it is actually useful. Stop right there, you dog. <laughs> 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 Fucking lion. I'm gonna send that lion back to uh, whatever it came from. It will be killed, but uh, since my lion, you know, the lion is my ally, if I try to shoot a arrow towards him, it will aim automatically a bit higher, and thus it gets a bit of bouncing effect, which makes it way harder to hit with the bow and arrow. So I've gonna gonna say goodbye to that annoying white lion and kill it myself before entering the arena. Go back now. That is the end of you, miserable beast! Oh, I see. The uh, lion was the uh, reason why I couldn't complete the quest of the runes. Yeah, okay. You're as good as defeated. Stop right there, you dog. Yoshi, Yoshi, finally. Nothing to be had. My belly or my head. That certainly took me some tries. But my belly done is done. I'm at a loss for words, O oh, champion of Bokarish. Now that's a nice change of name. You are truly a great gladiator. Glory and honor to the new champion. Since that business with the trolls, animal fights have been forbidden in the arena. Trolls? Yeah, it was Amal's idea. He wanted to make things more spectacular. It was quite a spectacle, all right, but not exactly the way he imagined. How do you get a troll into the desert anyway? That's quite a hunt. The ruins are safe. No more danger for the slaves? Let them dig. Good. I'll offer a deal to Aldo. As for you, you helped me out. Thank you. And as for the tribute for Amul, I think we can trust you with it. Good. Ashnu. I managed to convince the merchants. So you won their trust. Great. Here, this gold should help Amul to starve off the ire of Beliar. And don't you get any ideas? Take that gold directly to Amul. If you try and make off with it, you won't be able to enjoy it for long. No worries. I'm a human orc mercenary. The gold will be there. 
and his dominion will come. Yeah, yeah, shut and up Belial already. Belial knew his enemy, and his wrath was great. Welcome to Bakaresh, the city of Beliar, Pilgrim. My name is Amul. I am one of the black mages. Can I learn from you? Casting the spells of Beliar requires great wisdom. And? And I will not teach you before you have rendered outstanding services to the city of Bakaresh. Nice temple you've got here. Yes. You want to see the inside as well, don't you? But you will not set foot in the temple unless I permit you to do so. And what do I have to do for that? What do you think? Make yourself useful. You can find out everything else for yourself. I bring the tribute from the merchants. Fair enough. Give to the mages, so that they may turn away the wrathful gaze of Beliar. Can you teach me now? You have served the city well, son of the Hashishin. I am willing to let you partake of my wisdom. Teach me something about ancient magic. You can't teach me shit. So what about it? Will you let me enter the temple? You have served the city of Bakaresh well. You now have access to the temple. Great. We are the chosen people. Wealth for us. You never the start chanting. And his dominion will come. And then those who have drawn his wrath shall tremble. But I totally forgot that I found that lion in that specifically rune area. Um which was kind of a failure and it is, was only due to it's a nuisance in the arena that I killed it so you know all in all it was a good karma hey watch it what don't go running around here why not there are savage nomads who attack everybody on sight you'll also find a lot of lurkers over there and when I say a lot I mean a whole lot we can only hope but they're all going to kill each other off. I have come to get your report. Uh, well, Silvio sent you, right? Exactly. I can't give you that report. If Silvio finds out what is going on here, he'll have my head. So? So, help me deal with those nomads and Silvio can have his report. Tell me all about those nomads. There is only a handful of them, but they're armed to the teeth. We uh, kept an eye on them. They're sitting in a cave right over there. Then let's finish them off. Are you out of your mind? Those are nomads. I tell you what. Better flush them out. And then we finish them off here. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll take care of it. Now, if you follow this per path, you will eventually come to a area which is a bit filled with orcs. Um, there is also a little cave over there where you can find, if I'm correctly, I must say that in advance, if I'm correctly, the Druid Stone of the Lurkers, which has been implemented by, I think it was the Gothic 3's community patch, um, because they removed it, as far as I know, from the original game. Now, it is possible that you can find it in the original game, then it will be most likely in exactly the same position. <coughs> but uh, I will get it in the next episode. Because I have to go all the way over there. That will lead to this area over here. Which is a, a viewpoint of the orcs, and the cave is somewhere around here, somewhere between these edges of the rock, you know. Um, or at least somewhere here, far into the region over here, you know. So I will do that in the next episode, because I will also go here and here. Here we'll find the Guru book, the first of the four or five, I'm not quite sure, I think it were four. One we will find here, um, two we will find somewhere here in the mountains inside a small cave. The third one we will find somewhere in Montera between the Silden and the North Marian Pass. 
and the fourth and last one we will find somewhere in Nordmar. If I remember correctly, it was pretty close to the Fire Clan, but I'm not 100% sure yet anymore because it's been years since I last completed the uh, Where is the Ghoul Crest? And uh, in my previous tries, you know, the previous streams, I tried to get it done and I still had to get the one from Nordmar. So I know for a fact that the first one is over here, the second one is somewhere over here in the mountains in a small cave which is guarded by two ogres um the third one is between Silden and the Nordmar pass so somewhere around here and the last one is in Nordmar if there are four if there are five then i got no clue where to find the, the fourth one because the fifth one is always in Nordmar but let's take care of these uh, nomads these uh corrupted buggers Damn that guy, he's strong. That guy with the uh, spear is the one I'm concerned about. Rest in peace, my little friend. Broken. Ooh, permanent mana. Oh, that's nice. Let's talk with the Ashishin over here. Those nomads are history. Boy, oh boy, you did really well. Here is a little something for you. This is how the city of Bakarish shows its appreciation. What about your report? Hey, man, no problem. Go to Silvio and tell him that we have the situation under control. Yeah, of course. Should have expected that. They are so afraid of the fear and the wrath of Beliar. Wealth for us, dominion for Beliar. And his dominion will come. And then those who have drawn his wrath shall tremble. So pay with your gold.
I brought Acrobor's report. And? The situation is quiet. I think we both know that we don't have Acrobor to thank for that. Here, you should be paid for your work. Do you have anything else that needs to be done? Sand crawlers have shown up behind the arena again. There are more and more of them. The beast must have a nest somewhere. So track down the beasts, find their cursed nest and smoke it out. Already did. I dealt with your crawler problem. I assume you took out the whole nest? Sure. You've done pretty well so far. Keep at it. Here, this is for you. All right, so that's done. Let's go to the upper temple of Bakarish. We are the chosen people. Wealth for us, dominion for Belial, and his dominion will come. And then those who have drawn his wrath shall tremble. So pay with your gold. The nev the guy never shuts his mouth. He's more annoying than the uh, situation reporter in the city of Corinus, and that guy was annoying as fuck. It's better if we don't talk to each other. Oh, he is connected to uh, the nomad standing outside. I will do him in a bit. Let me just quickly talk with uh, the black mage here and with the leader of Bakarish. But those who met Belia's wrathful gaze never again found peace. How did you get in here? Amul said it was all right. Amul? Amul is old. He would let anyone who jingles a few coins into the temple. Do you have work for me? What? What have I done that you disturb me? If you are looking for work, go out into the desert and kill nomads. And now, delay me no longer. Ah, by the way, do you know Aldo? Aldo? The merchant Aldo? What about him? I think very highly of him. He sends his regards and he is a good man. I see. He asked you to say that. But what is your opinion of him? Is he a good man or not? He's all right. Fine. If you say so, he may continue to enjoy our favor. I have a letter here from Sancho. What? Show me. Aha. Huh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Wha what? Ah, I see. Hmm. Yes. If that is the case, then of course I will put in a good word with Zuben for you. Can you teach me something? You ask that I share my art, our gift, our power with you? Black magic is the highest form of the fate of Beliar. There's no reason why I should share it with you. Fine. Keep it. I'm not gonna pay you 1,000 pieces of gold to learn about a god that I do not follow anyways. Screw the power belly are. Although he might be able to teach me how to handle light armor properly. Oh, let me check just to make sure for you guys. Can you teach me now? What? Do you think you can buy the power of Beliar? Well, actually, yes. Oh, son of many coins. You really have not been with us for very long. But you have grasped a few fundamentals. Very well. I will teach you. But do not think that it will be fun. It requires the utmost concentration. Teach me something about ancient magic. You are not ready for that. Where is that magic from within? I think it's mana regeneration, 250. Currently got 109. I still need it, 143, something like that. So it could be. I think it's mana regeneration, which is something that I actually will learn. But uh, 
but that's you know away at the end so for now he's quite of useless A long road lies behind you, Pilgrim. I hope I haven't come in vain. As long as your intentions benefit our community, no road is ever in vain. Quite the contrary. We reward everyone who works for us. With gold, with fame, and with the knowledge of dark magic. That sounds pretty good. How is my reputation with your group? There's no question that you've made efforts on our behalf. But many strangers have come to our land. Some come as our guests, others as our enemies. They kill our people and steal our gold. Recently, that happened right outside our city. The oasis was plundered. I'll take care of the problems at the oasis. Good. I've heard that the raiders from the north have allied themselves with the nomads. Let them feel the wrath of Beliar. What can you teach me? I will teach you the art of dark magic. Teach me something about ancient magic. I could use some help at the Oasis. Really? Then take Silvio with you. He's a good fighter. A bit of a change will do him good. So be it. Silvio shall accompany you. Well, that was it, I suppose. Let's uh, quickly go to the Nomad inside the little cave. Where is um, Bakaresh? Seems a bit of walking, you know. So I can complete the quest with the slave. I think he needed about three bundles of weapons. also part of Bakaresh so I have to get it done before I finish the episode so that we can go for the Lurkers Druid stone in the next Oh, so I have to first talk with the guys in the oasis, okay. Exhaustion of a wolf doesn't work in transformation, good to know.
Hey, get your hands off my... Oh, what do you want? What are you doing here? No questions, stranger. If you want to ask questions, ask Canute. I have to divide up the loot. Knut. Nice name. Hey, I'm Knut. These are my men. That's all we need. What are you doing here? We serve no master and take whatever we want. You're bandits, then. I prefer the term freelance adventurers. We took this oasis with the help of the nomads. And? Have you got any plans? We've been thinking about attacking Bakaresh, but that's a few sizes too big for us. What if we attack Bakaresh together? You're really serious about this, huh? You see, this is not a mere village or an oasis. This is Bakaresh, the sacred center of the Hashishan. That means plenty of elite warriors, black mages. And booty. Yes, that's right. It's a one-in-a-lifetime chance, but it's an awful risk nonetheless. We are going to do this. You need to be well prepared. So, are you in? You know, I can't decide that by myself, and I wouldn't take this on without my damn partner Reg anyway. Also, I have no idea what Adarus will think of this. I mean, the nomads helped us with the Oasis, but who knows what's really going on in their heads. If you make sure that Reg and that Adarus fellow are going along with it, I'll be willing to risk my neck. I'll take care of it. Would you teach me how to fight? Also nothing. Well, you can learn how to fight as an Ashishin. Impressive for a rebel. Alright, so let's talk again with Reg. We want to raid Bakaresh. Are you in? Bakaresh? Hmm. There's a lot to be had there. Well, and how are we going to divide the loot? You know how it goes. While one man is still fighting, the next one is already opening the chests. And afterwards, nobody remembers who pocketed what and how much. So, what do you suggest? You get all of the loot, but you pay us for the attack in advance. Then I'm in. You know something about plundering, don't you? You know I do. Shall I teach you something more? That ought to be enough. What? Those few coins are all you're offering? Those few coins? Take it or leave it. I hate deals that don't pay. But I won't leave Canute in the lurch. You can count on me. Teach me something about thievery. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. Carry on like that. Ahem. Good. How do I talk my way out of things? A useful skill if you ever have trouble with the guards. The important thing is to come across convincingly. So speak with a firm voice and look the guy straight in the eye. Then you assert something, anything. Just don't say, I can explain. Good. Carry on. Thanks. Canute sent me. We are planning to attack Bakaresh. We are not ready for an attack yet. Why not? Sinekar isn't here yet. He was going to scout the town. What about you? What do you mean, what about me? I could help you prepare some more if you'd like. Find him. We're going to need his help. We will be ready whenever he is. Find Sinekar. Teach me something about hunting. All right, I'll talk with Sinekar. And he will help us if I give, you know, support to the rebel on the ground in Bakaresh. Which you need to get access for in Bakaresh. Good thing I already have that.
We're nearly done, guys. Nearly. Atteris sent me. We want to take Bakaresh. How does it look? Are you in? Have you really thought this over? Are you in or not? We'll need the help of the slaves. We have to make contact with them. You can move about the city freely. Find a slave who is ready to fight with us. One who can motivate the other slaves to start an uprising. Then we'll attack. Do that. I'll go to the Oasis. We'll meet there. Alright, so let's quickly go to the uh, slave underground and then uh, give him in bundles of weapons. He will support us. And uh, then the area is ready to be raided. I'm looking for support. I believe I know what you're talking about, but I don't think I can help you. Listen, you are the only one who can help me. You have to convince the other slaves to join in, and you will. That's dangerous. Of course it is, but it's about your freedom. <laughs> All right, but words alone aren't enough. I need better arguments. What do you need, and how much? Weapons. We need weapons. At least three bundles. You'll get them. And armor, and healing potions, and a few artifacts wouldn't hurt. Get your head out of the clouds. Fine, just get me the weapons. That will have to do. Where do I get bundles of weapons? Try Jafar, the weapons merchant. Or Silvio, he manages the guard's equipment. Here are the three bundles. All right, I'll hand them out. Go to your friends and tell them we will be ready. Yes, but I am not, not yet, because I first have to do a Morasul. But uh, anyways, guys, let us get our good friend. Where is he? Let me sleep till morning. I'm going to use uh, Silvio to assist me, whatever his name was, with uh, the, the road towards the lurker slash lurker druid stones. I talked to Tisgar. And? What did he say? Are there new orders? Yes. He wants us to settle the score with the bandits at the Oasis. Us? Nope. I see. Then arm yourself and let me know when you are ready. I'll take you out of here. Good. But anyways guys, this is about the ep end of the episode, so I want to thank you all for watching and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we will go to this little area over here, get uh, somewhere around here the druid stone of the lurker, if I remember correctly. Um, I'm not quite sure 100% yet about this island. Um, since I do not have opening locks yet, I could clear it. It's going to be tricky, but it's possible. Um, but it's most likely that I cannot loot the chest. But I will go towards these three little islands. 
um, to get the first book of the Guru and then we're gonna teleport to Braga to get the second book of the Guru and then from Braga we're gonna walk towards Morasul um, which will be where the episode after the Lurker Stone and all the traveling and whatnot will continue with Morasul and once Morasul has been cleared and completed um, I will quickly go and teleport to Faring, fight in the arena there, get Orc reputation, meet with Khan, get my Orc commander armor and liberate um, the entire desert in the name of the nomads at some point. Because uh, Ishtar will be unavailable unless you get 75% reputation, which I only will be able to get as a servant of Belear. So uh, anyways guys. I want to thank you all for watching and uh, if you f like what you see feel free to subscribe to my channel, thumbs it up, thumbs it down, whatever makes you happy, positive or negative combat comments, everything is welcome and I hope to see you guys in the next episode so uh, see you next time.